Good morning friends. This is my very first video and my all videos will be related to automobile technician and workshop technology. So let us start from the basic. The basic equipments that are used in the workshop and usually a technician uses. So let us see what are those equipments that are used in the workshop. For example, chisels, pliers, files, hammers and most commonly known spanner. In this video we will going to learn about or discuss about the spanners and their types and their use. So what is the spanner? Spanner is the metallic tool which is used to tighten or loosen the fasteners like nut and bolt. Let us see the types of spanner or wrenches. A first one open ended spanner second one ring spanner adjustable spanner tubular spanner socket spanner and pipe wrench now we will see one by one let us start from open ended spanner a open ended spanner is divided into two types single open ended spanner and double open ended spanner in the open ended spanner the jaws of the open ended spanner are lean inward about 15 degrees for the better grip and handling the open ended spanners are available in the different sizes and sets of 6 10 and 12 the jaws of the open ended spanners are not equal one of them is slightly small and that small jaw is called as locking jaw. While using a open ended spanner, a locking jaw must be kept in the direction of application of force for the better handling. Usually these spanners are made up of alloy steel and high tensile steel. The length of the spanner is always 10 times to the distance between the jaws of spanner. Now ring spanner. As you can see the image, ring spanner has an rings to the both the ends and that rings has 8 to 12 grooves inside it and that grooves helps to apply the equal force from all sides and that tends to easier the tightening and loosing of the bolt or nut. The ring spanner is more favorable than the open ended spanner for the loosing and tightening fasteners which are on the surface. Ring spanners are also available in the different size and sets. If required size of spanner is not available then one can use the adjustable spanner as name indicates an adjustable spanner has a one movable jaw and to move this jaw the one screw is provided in the body and these spanners are available in the 4 inches to 12 inches size now a tubular spanner. A tubular spanner is made up of medium carbon steel pipe and it has an hexagonal shape to the both the ends and two centered holes are provided on the both the side for the tommy bar and it is used when the nut or the bolt is below the surface and requires less torque. The tubular spanners are also available in the different sizes and sets. A larger Tommy bar has a hexagonal shape on only one side. A socket spanner is consist of various components. It includes socket, sliding offset handle, extension bar, hinged offset handle, ratchet handle, 
speed handle, universal joint, etc. The sockets are like a small tube which has an internal grooves like a ring spanner. Each size has separate socket. A sliding offset handle is also called as T handle. It is used with the socket. An extension bar is available in the two sizes, a 6 inch and 12 inch. So, as per the requirement, it is used with the T handle for the nut bolts that are below the surface. An hinged offset handle is also called a spinner. When the more torque is required, hinged offset handle is used. And also, with the hinged offset handle, we can apply the torque in various angles. And the next one, ratchet. Without lifting the socket, it can be operated in the same direction. For that, a ratchet handle is used. Uh, one knob is provided on the ratchet handle to operate the same. Now the last one is a pipe wrench. The pipe wrench is as similar as adjustable spanner. Uh, one screw is provided to adjust the one movable jaw. To keep the movable jaw 90 degree with the handle, spring strip is provided below the movable jaw. The pipe wrench is used for the larger diameter objects and to make a grip on the smooth surface, the jaws of the pipe wrench has an internal grooves cut on it. So that's it guys. If something went wrong, let you comment in the comment box and we will react on it. And do not forget to subscribe the channel for the further technical videos. So thank you. Thank you very much.